Secondly, conservation. Conservation, I think, means wise use. I think in the paper that some of you read, uh, I distinguish between the Forest Service and the Park Service. You know, when you, when you come into a national forest, they've got the sign there, you know, welcome to Inyo National Forest, land of many uses. Now, they want to conserve the land, but it's open to many uses. They will log parts of it, they'll, they'll, parts of it are open for mining, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, hiking, camping, whatever you want to do. If you go to a national forest, you don't have to camp in a campground. You can just drive off the road wherever you want to and camp anywhere. They can't stop you from it. It's your land. Uh, campgrounds have some amenities, perhaps, but you don't need a campground in a national forest. It's a land of many uses. The National Park Service, on the other hand, they're, conser they're preservationists, not conservationists. And although their philosophy has changed somewhat, now they allow for, for management of, of wildlands and timberlands so they don't build up fuel that natural fires would, you know, would, would cause conflagrations. They, they allow some fires to burn. But still the idea is preservation, uh, keeping things just as we found it. And there they won't let you camp just anywhere. Uh, you've designated sites and so on. The conservation and preservation difference, I think, is illustrated there. The wise use uh, is the conservation model. Sustainability is the key for that. We should look at Scripture and see in Scripture in the sabbatical year, uh, the farmland uh, lies fallow allowing the earth itself to rejuvenate. Um, Calvin DeWitt, who I think you read or will read a, a paper by him, uh, a real neat Christian guy, teaches at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, I heard him lecture and he, he said that if Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, was a state, it would be the sixth highest agricultural output in the whole country. Just Lancaster County. Now, what's in Lancaster County? The Amish. And they have a certain strict view of crop rotation and letting fields lie fallow. What do they do in Iowa and Nebraska? They plow and plow and pour chemicals on it. There's a certain notion of sustainability that we've lost. We ought to live sustainable lives as far as our budget goes, but we ought to think about living sustainably as far as the environment goes. Scripture also talked about the care for farm animals. Um, I am sometimes bothered at the thought of, of how chickens and cattle are, are treated I'm not bothered enough to be a vegetarian. Um, but if I had the choice of free range beef or farm beef, I'd choose free range. If I had the choice of, of chickens that were allowed to roam around or chickens that were kept their entire life in little tiny pens, I'd choose the former. You remember that was on the ballot in California a couple years ago. I voted for it. That, that they ought to ban these, these certain kinds of chicken farms. We'd pay more for our chickens. But remember the, the, the basic idea of Aristotle's view of virtue. You can look at, a, at an entity and you can see what conditions it requires to flourish. Depriving that entity of the conditions it's required to flourish is ipso facto a vice. And cattle that spend their entire life indoors with their heads in metal bars, or chickens that spend their entire life not on the ground but on, on some kind of a mesh grating in just a little tiny pen, they can't even flap their wings. It seems to me that we are not treating these animals with the respect that is due their nature as created by God. I think there's a Christian point to be made there. But again, since I believe virtue is, is somewhat person-relative, 
I can't say to someone who voted against that California law or, or thinks this is silly, I can't say you're absolutely wrong. I can just try and say, I think the power of this view of creation ought to persuade you. And sustainable consumption. Um, I have always wished, and never been able to, live in a place where four or five neighbors owned one lawnmower. <laughs> Why do we all need our own lawnmowers, our own edge trimmers? Before uh, I moved from Colorado Springs to Boulder, we were in a s small group with a guy who was a builder. And uh, we tried to convince him that, that he ought to build a complex that had homes, uh, five different homes for the five different couples, with you know, spread out enough so we didn't hear each other shouting at our kids. But um, you know, so we had elbow room, but sort of a central place where we just had one uh, industrial strength washing machine and dryer that we all shared and one lawnmower, and one chainsaw. It's a nice dream. I haven't yet achieved it. Um, but I think part of conservation is looking for the sustainability factor. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.